What's up guys, it's Josh from Keep It Techie and today I wanted to do a quick video showing you guys the dig command and NS lookup command in Linux. Okay, so in this video, I wanted to talk about a couple of DNS utilities, which are DIG and NS Lookup. Now, DIG stands for Domain Information Gopher, and it is used for DNS Lookup. And you can probe DNS servers as well as troubleshoot issues associated with DNS servers. And this is one of the tools a lot of systems administrators use. And that's one of the reasons I wanted to do a video on this command as well as NS Lookup. And NS Lookup is another command that also looks into DNS information which it can provide the IP address as well as the MX records associated to a domain name so let's get started I'm gonna go down and show you guys how to actually install these commands as well as a few examples on how to actually use them so I'll be right back in a second okay so I'm gonna show you guys how to actually install the dig command as well as NS lookup uh, some distributions of Linux come with these commands already installed but in in case it's not on your system the way you install it it's included in a DNS utility package uh, it comes with a couple of other commands as well and the way to install it and I'm currently on using Orch I'm gonna show you guys on Orch, but the command is sudo uh, pacman uh, dash capital S, and then it's part of the bind tool. So if you type bind, you'll uh, and tab it out, you'll see the uh, actual package of tools that come with bind, and it's bind dash tools. And press enter. I already have it installed. I know I have it installed. I'm gonna just reinstall it right fast. It only take a second, but that's pretty much how you install it on Arch. And the package is pretty much the same on Debian systems as well. You just run sudo apt install, then bind tools. That'll install these two commands as well as other tools that are used uh, for DNS troubleshooting. So the first thing, let me go ahead and show you guys the version that I have installed. So the way you do that is by running a simple command is dig uh, dash V and press enter. And that'll show you the actual version, which we have 9.16.2. Now let's actually look at the options of the command. So let's uh, go into the man page. So let's go man uh, dig and press enter. And that'll bring up the man page for dig. And as you can see, it's a DNS lookup utility. Uh, here's the synopsis. Um, description dig is a flexible tool for interrogating DNS servers. It performs DNS lookups and displays the answer that are returned from the name servers that are queried. Most DNS inf information use dig to troubleshoot dns problems because of its flexibility ease of use and clarity of output other lookup tools tend to have less functional functionality than dig so that's all i wanted to show you right there but they do have a few options down here um here's a sample of the usage so you go dig and then the server name and then type uh, that's typical so you can actually query certain records on the server as well you can look at the a record the mx record and then down here you can add some options as well uh dash four is for looking at ip version four only and then dash six is ip version six only uh as well as b for address c for class uh f for file but yeah you can go through and look look at all these options i'm not gonna mess with that many of them i'm just going to show you a few of them that i use that are great as far as troubleshooting the system so let me quit the man page right fast and actually show you the first way to actually run the dig command and the way i want to do it is dig ubuntu.com and yeah i want to go down and use ubuntu's website or web server and just query it uh using dns as you can see, it pulls all the information for Ubuntu.com. Um, so if we go in here 
uh, we can look at the answer section. This gives you the A records for all the servers that are using Ubuntu.com. So, I mean, it's pretty much like a, think of it as a cluster. These are pretty much the IP addresses for you, Ubuntu.com. And we scroll down here is our authority section. This goes through and explains that as well as additional section. These are some other IPs that are associated with with the server. And if we go down here, it gives you some information on how long it actually took. So query time and it actually logs your IP address <laughs> or displays your IP address. So that's my IP address, my local IP address. Uh, and then this is when I actually ran the command as well as the message size. Okay, and so the next way I want to show you the did command, I mean, this one is pretty simple. It's just basically running that same command, but let's say I wanted to look at a shorter version. I just want to pull the IPs. You can type plus uh, and then short behind it and press enter, and it'll just pull the IP addresses. And these are the A record IP addresses. As you can see, they match the ones up here. So let's say, I mean, this is what most people are looking for. They're looking for the main IP addresses that are associated with the domain name. So as you can see, they're the same one. So it just pulls that information by, and then also disregarding all this other information uh, that may or may not be relevant to what you're trying to look for. So that's a cool way of actually, you know, digging and just pulling the IP addresses or what you want to see, which is just the IP address if that's what you're looking for. Okay, and another way I want to show you guys how to run it, uh, and it'll be a very similar command. I'm going to take off this short. Well, actually, I could have left it on, but um, let's only look for the MX records for it. And I'm not sure what it's going to bring up, but we'll see right fast. Uh, and type plus. Okay, and so that is the mail exchange record, which is pretty much the record that's used for mail so if you ever need to, you know, look that up, you can look up just the MX record for uh, this domain here. And if you know anything about registering domains, you have different records that are are put into into the domain DNS section. Uh, you can set up the MX record. You know, you could point it to a different IP address and you could point your domain to whatever wherever your website is being hosted. So. So anyway, you can specify just you want to see just that MX record. And I know this may go over a couple of people head if you're new to Linux. But I mean, this is more just DNS information that we're looking at. Uh, it kind of ties to OSINT, so to speak, where you're actually looking for looking for information online or pulling information about a web server online. OK, so now let me go down and show you guys uh, NS lookup. And the first thing I want to do is pull up that man page again. So let's pull up man in this lookup and press enter. And this will pull it up. Um, the name uh, query internet name server interactively. Uh, this is the synopsis. So it's in this lookup, then the options, then the name of the server, and then, and then the name of the server. And quick description read, uh, NSLOOKUP is a program to query internet domain name servers. Uh, NSLOOKUP has two modes, uh, interactive and non-interactive. Interactive mode allows the user to query name servers for information about various hosts and domains or to print a list of hosts in a domain. Non-interactive mode is used to print just the name and requested information for a host or domain. And that's all I wanted to talk about on here is let me go down and quit this and actually run NS lookup so you guys can see what it actually pulls. Okay, so now uh, NS lookup and we want to run that on Ubuntu.com again and press enter. And this is an example of the information that NS lookup, NS lookup will pull. Uh, it'll pull all our IP addresses again, you know, as you can see. It also looks in and gets the uh, IP version six addresses as well. And actually, I misspoke earlier. This this right here is the actual server. I have a DNS server set up on my network, which handles a lot of the queries. 
So it automatically knows the DNS information for Ubuntu.com from when I probably went to it a while back. It's still stored there. So I that's the server that's actually doing the lookup for you. When you run the command, it'll go to the nearest DNS server and try to translate that domain name to an IP address. And if it has the answer, it'll reply back. That's why it's so quick, uh, because this is all on my network. I'm not actually leaving out to, let's say, Google servers to actually pull the information because my DNS server is the default DNS server on my local area network. So when I when I was speaking above, uh, when we were running the dig command, how it said uh, server, yeah, server right here. This is the actual, my actual server on my network. Just wanted to clarify that. But that's pretty much how you use both of those commands. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please like, share, and subscribe to the channel. If you have any questions, leave, leave a comment down in the comment box below. And of course, keep it techie.